Scout is the story of a rebel soldier who finds himself alone on the forest moon of Endor, abandoned, and uh, it's this. Uh, it follows him trying to return to base, trying to get back to safety, uh, when he runs into some unforeseen um, obstacles. The reason I think this uh, Star Wars fan film will be different than you know anything else that's on YouTube or you know the rest of the internet is because we're not approaching this as a Star Wars fan film per se, but more as from a short film perspective. So. We are really focusing on the story and and trying to bring out the humanity behind the mask in, in the Star Wars universe. So there will be no Jedis, and we'll be focusing on the soldiers. And what's really cool about this is we have officially partnered with the 501st Legion, specifically the Golden Gate Garrison in San Francisco, so that we can shoot um, in the Redwoods in the Avenue of the Giants, where they actually filmed some of Return of the Jedi. And we're, we're really excited to be able to work with the 501st. They're going to be supplying us with some actors, um, our stormtroopers, biker scouts, some weapons. Um, and they're, the 501st is a really great organization that helps a lot of causes. Preston and I are both student filmmakers and uh, together and separately we've made several award-winning short films. Um, we'll be co-directing Scout and uh, we'll be partnering up with Justin Capabianco who uh, did costuming and, and set deck for, for the History Channel for a number of years. Our producer Jake Williams does publicity for a lot of uh, media companies up in San Francisco. So. We have a, uh, a pretty able team, and uh, we're really confident that we can pull this off. So this is where you come in. Uh, we need your help and support in order to make this project a reality. While we have a bunch of our own equipment, and the 501st has been generously supplying us with costumes, weapons, etc., um, we still need money in order to get the production going, so we're not funding it entirely out of our pockets because we can't afford that. Um, so our budget is going to be going towards transportation to get all of our crew and actors from Southern California, LA, and San Diego up to San Francisco for the weekend so we can shoot. Our budget is also gonna to go towards food costs for craft services for everyone for the weekend while we're on set. It's gonna to go towards costuming stuff because there is still some costuming bits we need to do ourselves. Um, it's also gonna to go towards marketing and publicity for our Facebook page and, um, and everything so we can get, get our name out there and get people aware. We're also gonna need some funds for batteries, wireless lights. Uh, we're gonna be shooting completely off grid so it poses a, a different challenge uh, during production. An often overlooked aspect of a short film is post-production and we want to make sure that we have enough money uh, for, that, for that step in the process. Uh, we're planning on uh, possibly using 3D models, uh, we want to do some good sound design for this to really give it that Star Wars feel and, and really just tie the whole thing together. So all in all this brings our total production budget to about $2,000. Um, that's actually an incredibly small budget for something of this caliber, but we are completely confident that we can make this film with that budget. And one of the great parts about this is any overage funds from uh, crowdfunding or anywhere else we get our budget from, all of those funds are going to be donated to a charity in the name of the 501st. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Uh, we thank you for your time, and we uh, hope that you donate to this short film. Uh, without you, it won't be possible. Every single dollar counts. Please uh, consider donating and help us to make this film a reality. <laughs>